You can talk shit if you can back it up. Heat Bucks, top three takes from game five. Number three, down the stretch, Brooke Lopez guarding Bam Adebayo killed Milwaukee. Bam was able to get what he wanted in clutch time, a matchup that should have belonged to Giannis for the Bucks to have a chance. But there was no ball pressure from Milwaukee, and Miami had easy passing lanes. Bam ended with 20 points, 10 rebounds, and 10 assists on the game. Milwaukee's at 117-113 with 12 seconds left in the game. And then Gabe Vincent hits a three for Miami with eight seconds left, which brings me to number two. Giannis's fourth quarter shooting and turnovers really hurt the Bucks going down the stretch. Not to mention his missing 13 free throws for the game. They jumped the ball to Giannis at the end, who almost hits it out of bounds trying to avoid shooting free throws, and Middleton's able to save it to Holiday, who'll now go to the line. He makes one, but misses the other, and the Bucks are up 118-116 with 2.1 seconds left in the game. Miami inbounds, Vincent lobs it to Butler, who pushes off Connaughton, but he grabs his wrist, so whatever. Tied up, and we go to overtime. And number one, Jimmy Butler can talk all the shit he wants. He was letting Drew Holiday have it with 42 points. What is it that makes you unstoppable? My teammates, they need me to be that way right now. I will continue to be that way right now. Um, whatever it takes to win, it could be 40, it could be 50, it could be zero and 12 assists. I gotta be able to do it all. Miami leads in the closing seconds of overtime. The ball ends up with Grayson Allen, who has a chance but doesn't get a shot off. And the Miami Heat beat the Milwaukee Bucks four to one. We just play hard. We know what we're capable of. We don't listen to the outside noise. Um, and we will not listen to any outside noise. We're gonna do what we do. We're gonna um, learn from our mistakes tonight and throughout this series and get better. Giannis had a good game, but his free throw line struggles kept Milwaukee out of this one, as well as not being able to defend the heat down the stretch. So much of this series was born out of deep respect for Milwaukee. We've all noticed what they've done this season. The the prep for this, even though we, we didn't have a whole lot of time, um, it was probably the most focused a group can get, um, and that's born out of respect. So Miami will take on the Knicks in round two. Getting ready for national television at Madison Square Garden on Saturday. Don't we play on Sunday? Sunday, I'm sorry. Look at you. Do your job. And just the garden and what it means to players to be there. How sort of special is a playoff series? Honestly, you're asking the wrong person. I don't care where we play. Uh, we just got to beat them four times. I understand you're trying to hype it up, but we're going to go out there and we're going to compete. We're going to be the, the better group. Who you got? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, subscribe, man. That means a lot. Thanks for watching, y'all. But uh, I'm curious for you. Do you view this season as a failure? Oh, my God. Uh, we, you asked me the same question last year, Eric. Okay. Uh, do, you get, do you get the promotion every year? on your job. No, right? So every year you work is a failure. Yes or no? No. Every every year you work, you work towards something, towards a goal. It's not a failure. It's steps to success. I don't want to make it personal. Michael Jordan played 15 years, won six championships. The other nine years was a failure? That's what you're telling me. No, I'm asking you a question. Yes or no? Okay, exactly. So why are you asking me that question? There's no failure in sports. Some days it's your turn, some days it's not your turn.